You see, every day our challenge is to make success happen in our lives, not tomorrow, but today. You see, tomorrow is gone, and we no longer have control. Yesterday has not yet arrived, and some of us won't even live to see it. So all we have is today. And how we work it, it will determine the success of our tomorrows and, and how we can apply our failures from yesterday into productive today. Because all we ever hear about is, well, you're going to be a failure. Everything that you do has failed. Everything that you do has not been successful. I read it in a book where Thomas Edison was being interviewed and homeboy asked him, he says, dude, he said, you have failed 10,000 times in trying to create this thing you call a light bulb. He says, look, he says, I have not failed 10,000 times. I found 10,000 ways. He said, wow. That's what God has called them to do because God has called them to purge from you that for which hinders you from being everything that God wants you to be. In the book of Romans, in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 1, Paul, Paul talks about he talks about the word. He uses the word, and the Greek is called doulos, doulos. It simply means a bond slave or a bond servant. He says, when I choose God over everything else, I give my total loyalty to him. And because of that, he directs and guides my path. And I don't worry about it. These folk that serve you are your doulosses. They're your bond slave. They sold out everything to God so that you can be successful. So that you can get the word, so that you can be blessed. Spencer Johnson, Spencer Johnson wrote a book called Peaks and Valleys. And in that book, he says, there are peaks in my life, but yet there are some valleys. He said, I love living on the peaks because on the peaks, that's where the ice cream is. That's where all the fun is. That's where all the good times are. But if I'm going to get to my next peak, I've got to go to the valley. But in the valley, I don't like the valley because in the valley, folk talk about me in the valley. In the valley, it gets hard in the valley. In the valley, I lose money. I lose friends. I lose all my health. I, lo I lose it. But if I'm going to get to the next peak, I've got to go to the valley. So I venture myself down to the valley. And sometimes in the valley, it gets rough. Sometimes in the valley, it gets tough. And sometimes in the valley, I may want to go in the town, but I keep on going because I've got to get to the next peak. But when I get to the next peak, everything's going to be all right. But there's another peak that I've got to get to. And that's life. And you're going to have to learn not to get frustrated when they tell you about the peaks and the valley today mattered. That's what today mattered to my homeboy Joshua. Joshua's final speech was a challenge to make today matter. He laid it before the people and he said, choose you this day whom ye will serve. He said, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I don't care what everybody else is doing, but we're going to serve the Lord. Your pastors strive and teach you that serving the Lord will pay off. Will one day. That's their job. That's their commitment. And all you have to do is listen. But they say, if you want success, if you want it, then you have got to to serve the Lord this day. Today mattered to Nehemiah when he and the builders faced opposition. They walked through the night with brick in one hand and a sword in the other. Nehemiah said life was a battle, but we're going to fight the good fight of faith. He said we've got something that we've got to do. And I've got to watch my enemies, but yet and still I've got to work. He yeah. said, some of us go hold bricks, but yet some of us go have a sword. Amen. And we got a committed object to do. But one thing I like about Nehemiah, Nehemiah had some opposition. Some of his homeboys sat down in Tobiah. He said, check this out, check this out, fool. I don't know what you're doing. But that wall you building ain't by Jack right now. He said, we're going to show you it ain't by Jack. So if a, if a fox was to run across it, it's going to tumble. Nehemiah said, it, it may not be Jack to you, but when it hardens up, it's going to be protection to God's folk. Yes, 
What folk tell you may not be what God wants you to hear. So you have got to block it out and turn your back on it and fight the good fight of faith. I've learned in my life I don't tell what folks say because I charge it and run it through the word of God. And if God's word don't filter it, it don't come to me. Nehemiah. But I like David. Today mattered to David. How do I know about David? Sing a song. He said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. David said, I don't care what's going on, but this is the day that the Lord has made. I don't care what other people are saying, but this is the day that the Lord has made. Let me tell you about David. David was taking some sandwiches to his brothers down in the valley. Yes, sir. But when he got down there, he heard a whole lot of noise. Uh -huh. He asked his brothers, he said, what, what, what's going on? He said, dude, there's this boy down there, this big man down there, nine foot tall, David the lion. He is punking us to death. He is telling us what we can't do, and we are afraid. Yeah. 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 say that our armies will not and shall not be defeated. On, so David went down and talked to him. He says, how is it that you sent a, a little old, little old really little boy down to deal with me? David said, I may be a real little boy, but you don't know my history, Negro. He said, my history says I killed a lion and I killed a bear. And if I can kill a lion and a bear, then I can kill you too. He said, but how dare you defy you uncircumcised dog the armies of God because you did that I'm coming after you I'm not going to be fearful I'm not going to worry about how old I am or where I came from so he took that slain, bust him in his face, knocked him out and cut his head off and when he held his head off, that said victory for Israel but it said defeat for the Philistine every once in a while the head off of fools who call you. You're going to put 